Facebook, you could have stopped this shit too a long fucking time ago. You recognize that fucking correspondence? Mark Zuckerberg, you punk bitch. Yeah. All that motherfucking correspondence and messenger. You recognize that shit? Hang yourself, Mark, you punk bitch. The fuck you got all this shit in sync for? I can't fucking do nothing about it. Can't protect no motherfucking body. You ain't doing shit, you punk bitch. God damn, choppers. Choppers. And look. Well, how this is going to end, but I guarantee it. We'll see if I, if I pull over with my hands high. See what happens there. Tell me my kids are all right. That means I got to drop my hands. Y'all understand that, right? That means I got to drop my hands. Got you. Hey, but wait, wait, wait. Got a gun. Can I shut up? somewhere in the Williamson County area and they attempted to conduct a traffic stop on that vehicle. Uh, we jumped in into this whole incident with a vehicle evaded arrest from Georgetown Police Department and we jumped in around a three, uh, 270 which is in Durham. And then the suspect continued uh, northbound on 35 from the 270 until he was uh, apprehended at the 328 just south of Waco at 1104 this morning. I guess he was acting alone, correct? Right? What's that? He was acting alone? Yes, uh, single occupant, single vehicle, just one person evading, and we charged him with evading. So you said suspect, he was a suspect of what? What was he fleeing? What was he fleeing? Yeah. Uh, all that, the details into why he uh, chose not to stop, and all those will be released at a later time. They won't be released right now. So he didn't have anything to do with the courthouse fire, courthouse burn down that they were talking about earlier today? All that will be released at a later time until his ties into that or anything else. Also, the suspect was, vehicle was spiked multiple times by different counties uh, between here and Jordan. If the spikes were made him stop, what if initially made him stop? Uh, he just stopped on his own free will. He stopped, placed his hands up, uh, and exited the vehicle. We took him into custody with ice. So he didn't try to run or anything? No, he did not. Pretty much surrendered. You know what kind of car it was? What was that? What kind of car it was? It was a Ford F-350 Duke. And uh, we heard shots were fired. You heard shots were fired? Uh, over the radio, is that true? Uh, I, I can't confirm that yet, but from who? We heard over the police scanner oh, okay. uh, shots right. fired. I'll look into that. I'll look into that. And if so, I'll brief you on that a little bit later. About how many agencies in total did you say were involved in this? Georgetown Police Department, Bell County Sheriff's Office, and DPS. Uh, 
right now that's what I know. I'm not sure where McClendon County came in okay. or if they came in or not. But I know those were the main uh, main uh, agencies that helped. You know how long the standstill was on that 35? When you say standstill, what do you mean? I mean like the traffic started. Uh, we attempted to stop the vehicle around 1140, like I was saying. So we stopped traffic just in case something were to happen. That way, nobody, uh, innocent bystanders would get hurt in uh, case it took a different course. So it was just a you know, public safety concern. We just decided to stop northbound and southbound traffic. And then once we put the person in custody, we opened the lanes up and let traffic flow smooth. Were any law enforcement officials hurt? We know a lot of uh, them had issues with their tires because of the spikes. Uh, no injuries. No injuries. No injuries, no weapons, correct. What's that? No injuries and no weapons, correct? The suspect didn't have any weapons or anything like that? Uh, inventory items for that vehicle will be, you know, uh, put out at a later time. So that's still under investigation. Any other questions? No, no, no. Uh, not, I can't the hear you. Hit anybody during the chase? Uh, uh, like no, no crashes, no secondary crashes due to uh, this or anything like that, right. from my knowledge. Are you are you guys comfortable releasing his name? Other agencies have mentioned his name we know it okay that's yeah if other agencies choose to do that they'll choose to do that right now we're not putting that out we'll put that out at a later time and for the record uh how you spell your first and last name ryan howard r-y-a-n-h-o-w-a-r-d